Guys, hello and welcome to the Library TV Network. Today is Monday and today is August 5th, 2024. You know, many have been commenting saying that the journalism normally bring the breaking news here is this way. And today I have decided to put this right here. So, into the breaking news here, a lot of things happening and prices so, getting. Today the weather looked very bad, uh, rain falling, and then we will, we will not actually be able to, uh, you know, drag you through Morovia uh, to showcase you places around Morovia this morning because of the weather condition. So we are just starting at a particular end to actually bring you breaking news and major happenings, things that happened last week and also during the weekend. So this is the Librarian TV Network. I'm Princess Katie Copper coming to you live. Keep following the Library TV Network as we bring a live coverage. So just to let you know the uh, major, 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 major development in the country and a lot of things are happening in the country. So if you are following from any part of the world, we want to say welcome to this channel. You can like, share and comment on our Facebook and YouTube page. And just to let you know, we now have uh, at least 34,000 followers, both on Facebook and YouTube. So that tells you that this platform is really growing and we are also encouraging you to actually like and you know share this platform you can call on us at any point in time you are having a program in order you know to showcase your event your wedding ceremony uh, funeral and whatsoever thing you think about we have all of the expertise that is needed so in today's development just to let you know the business conference is to be held today at around 5 p.m. at the ministerial complex wherein you will be having investors, you will be having companies, owners, you will be having managers from across a uh, different country, uh, you know, converging at the ministerial complex to actually invest in Liberia. And one of the good news is uh, one of Beijing, you know, companies called the Harder Group of Company have decided to invest 500 million by dollars into the industrial park and they are saying that they need at least 200 acres of land and this information can be found on the Verita you know online newspaper so these are just major happenings and concern so if this happened trust me it means that many young librarians and other librarians will definitely you know have, have access to job employment they won't just be seated on you know on a daily basis doing absolutely nothing and also one of the unique part of this uh, investment conference you know, when investors start to actually invest in Liberia, definitely job opportunities and a lot more are going to be created in Liberia. Also in today's development, as you may be aware, last week we actually provided a set update. Moving forward this week, there are numerous of protests to be held. According to the police IG, he has confirmed that and also he he actually reminds uh, protesters, he has reminded protesters that, you know, you can protest, you can go about doing things, but then don't do the illegal things. And he also, you know, by providing this alarm that there are a lot of individuals in Liberia that have access to firearm. And then he is also urging protesters during the protest, no one is allowed to go along with firearm at the protest ground. If anyone is from doing that, definitely you'll be arrested and then the law will take a call. So these are just conscience coming from the IG of police. Yesterday he had this press conference and also in yesterday's uh, press conference, you know, there was this incident that occurred during the course of the weekend wherein a police uh, inspector, you know, identified as the uh, David Fire in Broadway uh, to be Pacific around the Hotel Africa and Banjo, you know, Unless they shot, unless they shot uh, one Mohammed Manoba, yeah, I think according to information we got from other media sources and also uh, from other platforms, in I think I uh, there was this issue that occurred between both of them, and then according to the investigation that is currently ongoing, alleged investigation, Mohammed insulted his mother. And then Mohammed was also trying to discharge him. <laughs> yeah, Mohammed was trying to discharge him. He had his weapon with him. So in the process, I think Mohammed got you know shot. And then Mohammed definitely met his untimely death. Why he was you know rushed to hospital. So these are information coming. So yesterday the police IG uh, hosted a press conference. 
you know, notifying the public that everything is under control and things will definitely be settled. And, you know, they actually, they also visited the parents of Muhammad, encouraging them that, oh, yeah, they should be relaxed and other things. Currently, as we speak, the inspector, uh, individual, the inspector of police, uh, basically for that end, Evan Brave, Mr. Fire David, is currently in custody. He has been reminded at the police headquarters. You know, the police has its own standard division. When something happens, definitely you are taken there for investigation. And if the investigation doesn't actually warrant or uh, is something unique, they will release you. If something, something that is not actually you know reasonable, they will hold you. Uh, according to the police, IG he has provided some update that the gun that was with Mr. Fire, the police officer, is not a registered arm and also it is not the arm that the government of Liberia gave him. So I think it is one of those things as well that the investigation will be looking at and so on. So guys, if you are following, this is Francis K.D. Copper coming to you live. Uh, we are here again today is Monday, August 5th, 2024. So, uh, President Broca held a meeting last week, especially Friday. And in that meeting was a cabinet meeting where he held meetings with all of the cabinet and high court officials. You know, there were a lot of things said during that meeting. And one of those things that he said in his meeting, he was clear in this thing that any government official who want to undermine his regime or who want to do things that is out of the way, they should trust him, he will definitely fire you. And when you are fired, you are not coming back to his government. You don't even think about it. So the president was clear. We were, people have been wondering what actually made the president to, you know, give said comment. What led to him, you know, coming over said decision. Other political analysts are saying maybe something is happening at the backyard or something, something might have popped up or something is about to happen. So the president is just trying to, you know, send this caveat to all of his government officials. So actually be on that guy. So these are major things happening as well. So in today's development as well, you know, we we we, we gave this information I think a week ago that the Ombudsman has taken the NEC to court and currently as we speak, you know, they are staying in court. So last week there was this information circulating on social media and this platform also reached to Councillor Fimde Kanga who served as the Ombudsman of the Republic of Liberia and it was confirmed that the Ombudsman has taken the NEC Chairperson Madam David Lassana to court. What led to that was uh, according to the Office of the Ombudsman there have been numerous of, you know, uh, information, messages sent and appearance to the NEC chairperson through the, from the office of the Ombudsman, but to no avail. And whenever she is giving or whenever information is sent to her or message or something to do, she don't look at it. So in order for this thing to come to, you know, a stem kind, uh, the Ombudsman office took, you know, the NEC chairperson to call. And one of the reasons also is, you know, the Ombudsman office requested for all of the political parties uh, documents that contested in the 2023 election but then that information or that message was no so it was one of the key reasons why the ombudsman took uh madame davis etta brown to court and today she is to appear at the center court of morrow by 11 o'clock so keep posted whatever thing that will be discussed eh? definitely we will come and let you know about the major happenings regarding to what will be you know said at the court in relation to the case between the Ombudsman and NDC. So, uh, also just the Friday, you know, a lot of things happen Friday. Uh, this is going to Friday. Yeah, you know, Friday is the day the weekend starts. And a lot of things happen. So, we all know Honorable Francis Lumane, a former, you know, representative, uh, represent, one of the representative, you know, person you in, Lofa County uh, actually, you know, <laughs> yeah, actually did some things and currently himself as the Minister for Internet Affairs. So, during last week Friday, with immediate effect, uh, Honorable Zanza Kawa has been released from his post as Chief Councilman of the Republic of Liberia. And also, not only him, but other high court officials as well. And according to information we got, Honorable Zanza Kawa uh, has been in that position for decades now. 
So, a minute after that release was placed out, after 24 hours, we also saw some information circulating on various, you know, uh, authenticated, you know, media platform like the OKFM, OK yeah, the DN News, and so many, you know, uh, online platform. And we also make some background research on that information that Honorable Zanakawa I uh, has rejected, and he said uh, he has denounced his, you know, removal as chief counsel. He's going to challenge that, and besides that, he said he will not move from that office. He's going to be in the office doing his normal activities with his core, you know, officials who were released, who were uh, released from their position. So. We are yet to see what will happen, uh, so what will be the outcome. But today I will try to visit that uh, council office to know if Honorable Zandakawa actually will go to work. Uh, yeah, because whatever thing that we will be providing or want to say, we want that information to be clear, accurate, and balanced. So, trust this platform, we'll make sure to go there. We want to know uh, an individual in the government who actually has you know, the power or who has the strength. So, as, as we move on this week, there are a lot of audits activities currently ongoing in the Republic of Liberia. And former uh, Auditor General John Molo has been writing a lot of a session regarding Honorable Akawa's grade and also the CDC. So, Honorable Molo's session has been that he has also indicted a uh, former representative of District Number 8, uh, Honorable Akawa's Moso Gray that Honorable Gray was also involved into such so the government of the Republic of Liberia needs to actually you know call him. Uh, there is the issue about 10 million saga. So Honorable Gray to respond to that and currently as you speak you know they are just responding to each other and so on. But let's see what will happen with regards to the audit report. But then uh, as we, as as it stand there are a lot of you know protests to actually be here this week. And even today, we are expecting a protest. So trust us, I came fully prepared in time today, despite I'm, you know, wear a tie in my, you know, Monday wears, in my Mondays wear, but we are prepared to actually go on the battlefront to bring you life happening. This is what we have passion for. Yeah, so keep following Liberal TV Network. We are staying here today, it's Monday. So in our last today, you know, podcast, CBL, we know we told you that Honorable uh, Alasha Jestalu was, you know, suspended from his position, and you have another person there currently. So, as it stand, he has taken the government of Liberia, uh, gov go uh, the government of Liberia, to court in relation to his suspension, and saying that it is illegal and so on. So, the government and the suspended CBL governor are currently in court. We don't know when the case is going to start, but as soon as the case resume definitely will bring you the live you know uh, activities of what will be discussed at the court so guys if you are following this morning i want to say thank you for following the platform you can share like comment on our facebook page i'm princess katie coming to your life